put the kids in the back. Yeah, <laughs> We're used to it. it. <laughs> Those pain in the ass kids in the back back there. Don't make me pull this thing over. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk any law today. Uh, people who follow me on Facebook know that I recently posted some photographs indicating I was visiting Jay Leno's garage. And uh, I was at Jay Leno's garage on this recent Saturday with my father and my brother. And uh, it's an interesting story, and I wanted to be able to tell the story in video form. I did videotape uh, a drive that we took in a Duesenberg with Jay. And I'll tell you the story about how that came about. My brother, who is in the left right there, also knows Jay. Jay had learned my dad was an old car aficionado and was kind enough to offer him a tour of his older cars if we ever brought him out there. Uh, my father is a car guy, and he's the actually who got me and all my brothers interested in cars at young ages. My dad's got a huge collection of car books, and he has uh, you know, been fascinated by cars his entire life as well. Rick, you grab the handle? And I have to tell you right now that right Jay never said I'd love to meet your dad, or in reference to uh, my father, he would just say, hey, how's dad? Help dad get in the car, and where's dad? That kind of thing. And so uh, we uh, sat down with my dad, my brother and I, and said, hey, dad, uh, Jay Leno has invited you out to his garage. Uh, he wants to talk cars with you. And my dad said, oh. Yeah, okay. I'm a model of grace, I know. <laughs> and we said, look, we really want to do this for you. We're going to take you out to California, and if we can just work out the schedule, and you can meet Jay, and we'll walk around and check out his car collection. But he'd like to meet you. And so my dad said, okay. So we set it up. We worked out a schedule with Jay where he was available on a Saturday. Uh, my dad is available. Rick, my dad, and I all flew out to Los Angeles on Friday, uh, and we flew back on Sunday. And on the Saturday in between those days, we stopped by Jay Leno's garage, and he gave us a tour. And now, here's the thing. I did not film the entire tour. I didn't even break my camera out during the tour. I've been there before, uh, and quite frankly, this was about my father. So my father, as you can see right here, is in the passenger seat of the car, uh, and Jay is explaining various aspects of the car, and they're having a discussion. Uh, now, interestingly, the vehicle we're driving uh, that Jay is the wheel of is a 1930 Duesenberg. And he's got a couple Duesenbergs. And if you want to know more about this particular car, he did a Jay Leno's Garage episode entirely about this car. If you want to know about the wheelbase and the horsepower and you know its configuration and the options it has and the story of how he got it, that's all in an extremely detailed Jay Leno's Garage video that he shot, which I'd highly recommend you watch. But this is a 1930 Duesenberg LeBaron barrel side. And in his video about the car, he says specifically it is his favorite Duesenberg. <laughs> so it is a really, really neat car. And in the past, I've had the opportunity to go for rides with Jay in a Chrysler turbine car and also in a white <laughs> steam car. And that's my father having a great time in the passenger seat. And um, I'm not, like I said, playing the sound of this video because the wind noise was very, very rough on the camera I was holding. I had a GoPro camera in my hand. There's Rick enjoying the scenery. And uh, the GoPro camera doesn't have a separate microphone. I could have mic'd it differently, but I didn't want to interfere with this. This, I said, was simply about my dad and you know he's enjoying this experience i didn't want it to be like hey everybody let's wear microphones and, and and shoot a video so i'm just along for the ride but i'll tell you right now it's it's fun um and it's indescribable <laughs> but i'll try anyways we're we're driving around the streets of southern california in a duesenberg with jay leno and my father in the passenger seat and every time a car goes by, people turn and look because, number one, it's this beautiful old car. The Duesenberg is a rolling work of art. It's, it, it's almost a museum piece in the sense that you could sit there and look at it all day long. But Jay's car collection is unique in that it could be a museum, but he drives all the cars. He keeps them in driving condition. He takes them out and drives them. 
And that's what he does with his cars. His cars are, he says, you know, meant to be driven. And he enjoys them and takes them out and drives them. So we're out driving along and, and you know, Rick and I are in the back seat here and we're filming and whatnot. And every time a car goes by, people turn and look, hey, look at that car. Look, it's Jay Leno. And Jay is very gracious. He waves to people. People roll their windows and say stuff to him. And he talks back to them and says, hey, thank you very much. Good to see you. So occasionally during this drive, you will see Jay wave at people. You might hear some honking and stuff going on. That is people honking and often waving hello. And of course, it's kind of funny when people pull up alongside of us who are filming us as we were filming the ride. But it was a lot of fun. And interestingly, the car is basically uh, the same age as my father. Um, Jay explains the whole story about how these cars were built and then they were titled for the year in which they were sold. So there is a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, wiggle room there. But at one point in time, somebody pulled alongside of us and yelled, hey, nice car. <laughs> and Jay pointed at my dad and goes, hey, it's the original owner right here. <laughs> and, uh, it was fun. At, uh, another occasion, after several people had, had pulled up alongside of us and waved, including a couple women, my brother jokingly said, hey, Jay, this car is a chick magnet. <laughs> and Jay goes, actually, it's an AARP magnet. But it was a lot of fun. And, you know, Saturday afternoon, I'm guessing it was in the 70s, a um, little chilly in the car because of the wind blowing over us. And uh, if you look, there actually is a windshield between the seats that you can put up to give the people in the back a little more protection from the elements. Uh, but, you know, something we had it down so we could all chit chat a little bit. But uh, it was primarily my dad and Jay discussing uh, the cars. And my dad's got a car book collection, which is basically a large library in the house that I grew up in. And, um, and when I remember, it was a wall, a big wall of books that's grown over the years. And, and most recently, when I visited, <laughs> he converted my old bedroom into an extension of his library and now where my bed used to be are bookshelves filled with car books and car literature and and it's amazing so um it was a great experience for my dad to get out there and see this car and go for a ride with jay and like i said earlier before this we walked around the collection with jay and we were you know asking what's this car what's this car what's the story and the cars in this collection are an eclectic mix everything from you know, the earliest days of automobiles to the most recent supercars. And Jay knows the stories behind all of them. He'll tell you not just what's interesting about the car itself, but the story of how he got it or, or some other aspect of it. And again, you know, many of these stories are what he's done videos about on his series, Jay Leno's Garage. And you can also see his TV series, Jay Leno's Garage, where he has you know, shorter segments about these cars and, and car culture and so on. But in his collection, he's just got, like I said, uh, I think it's a couple hundred cars and a couple hundred motorcycles and a couple steam engines. And when we got back to the garage, we pulled in. We took some pictures and stuff. But we pulled in, and, and as we are you know, walking around, he goes, Hey, do you guys want to see the steam engine run? <laughs> sure. So he fired up his steam engine told us the whole story about it. It was a steam engine originally uh, operated by Thomas Edison uh, at a demonstration to show, in essence, the power of electricity and electrical lights and so on. And uh, he was telling us all about that and showing us how it works. And it's just, it's, just, it's just cool. So if you're into cars, mechanical things, you can understand Jay's fascination with all of this stuff. So again, just, you know, had the video camera here. Um, and I only pulled it out at the end because you know, I didn't want to be walking around with cameras earlier while my dad was getting a tour of the garage by Jay. Uh, but I, I did, you know, pull it out now because I thought that, you know, somewhere down the road, my dad might want to <laughs> see some video footage of his ride in the 1930 Duesenberg LeBaron barrel side that uh, Jay has in his collection. And it is a magnificent car. And again, Look at all the detail work. Every single thing on this car, no matter where you stand up close or step back, it is a work of art and it's rolling down the road. And Jay Leno's at the wheel. And that's my dad enjoying the ride. So have to thank Jay Leno for this, my brother, my father, 
Uh, it was a great experience for all of us. Afterwards, we got out, took some pictures, and uh, <laughs> what else can I say? Going for a ride with Jay Leno in a Duesenberg. What a great way to spend the day. And as we're getting out, by the way, he jokingly said, well, what's going to take to get you guys in a car like this today? Let's go stop by the finance department and see if we can make that happen. <laughs> so thank you, Jay, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.